Thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today, I'm still showing you my lipsticks. I don't know. I think I've got two or three more videos. I did edit the um, other two lip, lip product videos, and those were a little crappy. I know, I know. But I thought they were okay enough because I am learning. And so I learned from them. Um, so now I know that when I'm swatching, I need to come over further so it's easier for you guys to see. So today I'm going to show you my pink or pinkish colored shades. And I have 24 of these. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the color story. I think, I don't know, these may be... I think I tried one. Yeah, I think I tried one and the other one... The other one I did not. So I think, I don't know, maybe I didn't try either one of them, but here we are. My hair is driving me crazy. Can you guys tell like how staticky it is? And I even, it must be have like a lot of humidity or what is it? Something in my house. I don't know what that's called. But anyways, back to these pinkish lipsticks. So because my eyesight is horrible or the printing is too small, don't know the color. We're going to um, swatch it, and that is the color. And some of these I'm going to have to um, try out. There's this one. I don't know the color. I'm not even going to look because the other one I couldn't tell. I don't think that they're all, like, I don't think my eyes are that bad. I just think that the majority of the um, writing is just too fucking small for me. <laughs> So this is a um, ColourPop Barbie, and it does come with a lipstick and a lip pencil, but I'm not going to show you the pencil, I'm just going to show you the lipstick, and there's that, and if you look close, I think you can see the writing on it, so there's that color, and if, if any of these look more like a brown, well... It is what it is. <laughs> I have this um, Pretty Filter Soul Velvet Lipstick by, I think this is by Touch and Soul, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's really pretty. I wore this a few times. So, um, I don't, I haven't been wearing a lot of pinks lately though. Like I was saying in the other video, it's like I just pick a color and go with it. I have this Too Faced Melted Matte Metallic, and I actually really like this lipstick. I need to look into getting more colors because this lasts for a long time. It dries down and it is very, very pretty, and I bet you they'd have a really pretty red and a really pretty brown in there. I also have this Romantic Beauty and I don't know if I've tried these. So the ones that have the um, doe foot applicators, I'm just keeping all of them for myself unless it's in a package and I know I haven't opened it yet because I just think that's gross. I know some people don't care, but me personally, I think it's gross. This is by the brand Floss. I think I have a, um, if it's the same brand, I also have a highlight by Floss that I never use. Anyways, there's that. Ooh, I've never used this one. Oh, man. You know what? You can tell I've never used this. It was still in the box. So, I'll put that off to the side because if I can get rid of some of these products, oh my god, I'd be so happy. Then I have the Super Moist Lipstick, and it is in the shade Vintage Rose. That's what that packaging looks like. I think True and Luxurious is what that says. There's that color. I do hope that these swatches are better because I was very disappointed. Not disappointed enough to start it all over because that took me a long time to do. I have a lot of lip products. 
So, um, but I want the rest of them to look, to do better because also I think that the pinks, the reds, and the browns are going to be more favorable to people. So I have this, um, Huda Beauty and it is in the shade Honey Moon. And this was one of my very first products that I got. I think I got this in a, um, uh, a mystery box or in a giveaway win. So I have this half caked. And it is in the shade S.A.P. And I actually, I think I have a gloss that goes to this one because I just um, remember reading the name of it. And it sounds like it goes with the gloss. But I don't know. I have another half caked one right here. And this one is in low key. I don't know, some of these may have like a more of a brown tint to them. I have this Beauty Creations. I have a lip gloss that's orange like this. But the lipstick itself is pink. There's that. So I'm recording with my um, camera because like my actual um, Kodak camera. I have this little maquillage because my phone, um, I think I figured it out. I think it has a crack where the, where the camera is. And so when I'm recording, it really don't matter where I'm recording at. I see this like, oh, that's brown. Damn. Oh, well, I've done that a couple of times where I wasn't quite sure. And I just played guessing games. I guess I'm not that good at guessing games. Oh, well, oh, well, I'll fix it later. I'll put that off to the side. It does look really brown. I don't know. I'll I'll decide when I'm editing. Actually, I have this Cargo Cosmetics. This is bright pink. This is my bright pink one. And it's my bright pink one. And I put one more down here. Um. There's that. I know I was just talking about something. I don't know. I don't know. I forgot. I have this milk makeup, and it is in the shade um, kind of tonic. And I don't know if I've used this one or not, but I'm keeping this one because <laughs> I um, have wanted to try some milk makeup. Oh, no, I've used it. I've used it. This one looks brown, too. What the hell, Joy? What is your damn problem? Are you like, oh, this looks like a, oh, shit, this is a lip balm. Well, damn it. That was like one of the very first videos. I don't know how in the hell I mixed that up. So I'll put that off to the side. Um, but I'm still going to show it to you. Because I'm not doing these videos over. I don't care enough. I'm, it, it don't matter. It don't matter. I have a Jeffree Star. This is one of the products that I use um, on a regular. And this is called... Oh, shit. And, and 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 I don't know. We know that I can't read very well um this this may be of the brown it looks pink but maybe it's more brown i don't know and it is like hours later from when i was recording earlier earlier i also had the natural light i don't have the natural light anymore so it may change the color of the shades i do have like three um of them uh them light things i can't even think man i hate that do do you have that problem ever where like you know what you're talking about but you can't think of the name and words are hard. Anyways, I have this Revlon um, lipstick in the shade 745. Oh. And now that I'm looking at this, I wonder if this is more of a red. Oh, I swear. Oh, it might have a pinker. I don't know. Maybe it should have went in my reds. Either way, you know what? You're seeing all of my lip products. <laughs> I'm colorblind. I have this Ofra. And this is like a hot, bright pink. And it's the shade name is Hollywood. Doo, doo, doo. I'm getting tired. It's getting late. My husband took my son um, because the day that I'm recording this is New Year's Eve. So December 31st. And my 19 year old son has a party to go to. Lucky bastard. I remember being 19. I remember going to parties, but no. I'm in a lady now. They didn't party. It's my fault anyways. <laughs> I really don't care. I have this Tropical Coral and L'Oreal 
color. I think that's what it's called, L'Oreal color. And here I am. That's what that looks like. There is the shade. And let's put this on my wrist or arm. You know, the colors that I used earlier, I'm going to tell you this much. Most of those um, products that I put on my arms, the like other and the purples, most of like half of them, not most of them, like half of them are Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star's products did not want to come off. I should have took pictures. They wanted to stain. I had to keep washing and keep washing and keep washing and I had to get my makeup balm and oh, it was annoying. But anyways, and that's good though. Even though it was annoying, it's super good because you want it to last forever on your lips. I have this Estate Lip Icing and the shade Wet. <laughs> what a name. Wet. No. What a bucket. I wonder what when like why people name certain things like um Jeffree Star named one of his purples that was like um almost a pale purplish pink virginity that's just stupid oh my god so I have a hip dot lip gloss I don't know I must have when I was going through just automatically thought that this was a lipstick not and that was like one of my very first videos um this is by we already know it's by hip dot the name of it is C Star gazer i am going to i'm going to swatch it for you guys but i'm going to put it um over here for you here let me see if i can build it up just a little bit some of the um glosses i could tell you i should have really did that one over but i'm not because i'm lazy and i don't really think many people are going to care about the glosses everybody really knows what they do they're glossy they're shiny enjoy don't like them <laughs> so oh i want to do these ones back to back so i have these two by the same brand um oakland and this, they're both the same color. They're called Party Pink, right? Um, yes, they're both Party Pinks. So the, um, damn it. So that is what the bullet looks like. So one's a bullet lip and then one is a um, liquid lip. And I just want to show you what they look like and how much... I believe um, Becky's and Pines got these for us when we were doing the Clabtastic Ladies, and I was super appreciative. I don't know why we quit doing that. I think everybody's, um, oh, damn it, doing it again. Here's the other one. This is super cute because it looks like a champagne. So, I guess. I'll definitely know when I'm doing the editing, like, if they look a lot alike or not, because um, the day that I tried them on, like, I did a video where I just used this one, but the actual day that I tried them on, I put this one on, and then I put this one on over it, and um, it didn't dry down like it, I wanted it to. I think it dried down a little bit, but it wasn't like transfer proof. I have this, okay, so this is Laurel Lee. Um, it's, the writing has wore off. I've had this since I started my channel too. I got a mystery box. I got this in there. I love Laurel Lee. Her prices are just so ridiculously high. And I only want to order a lipstick or two, and I'd have to order, like, so much crap to get, like, free shipping, and it's annoying. But this is in the shade um, Party and Nice, and this dries down. This lasts forever. I will probably suck it up and buy some more of her lipsticks, this color again, and maybe a couple of more, even though I have 181 lip products now. Because I'm subtracting as I go along. If I come across any more that I'm going to get rid of, I'm subtracting. Because I already have so many. So many. So I have this um, KAB Cosmetics. And this is what that one looks like. And I've used this a few times. Um, it lasts for a little bit. It doesn't stay all day. It is um, not transfer proof. So... But it was a really good lipstick. I have another Jeffree Star Cosmetics and the shade, I think it is, oh my god, and the shade Doll Parts, I swear to god, Jeffree Star and the fucking names that he's come up with. Crack me the hell up. Crack me the hell up. So that is what that one looks like. And then the last one, I think this was kind of a, um, pink if not it's more of a red but whatever I put it in the pinks um this is by um fully fire in the shade sunset um blvd belvedere sunset something like that <sighs> calm down joy okay, that is what that looks like 
And then that is what that looks like. And I'll put this down here. There is that. So those. So those are my pink lipsticks. Now we're going to go through my red lipsticks. Now at the beginning of this video, I said I had 24 pinks. But I have a pad of paper down here, and I was looking at it to make sh to see how many I had reds, and I looked my reds and my pinks right next to each other. So I actually had 27 um, pinks and 24 reds. So let's go ahead and get started. I have this half caked in the shade 82. Oh my goodness. I think it's Bordiox. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. So these are going to be um, reds or what I thought was more of a red color. I have this Real Her. I am the best. And the shade is, I think the shade is I am the best. I don't know. I don't know how these Real Hers work. But there is that super cute packaging and that is the lipstick and this is like a brick red I thought yes this is like a brick red I really like this one especially when I want to wear a red but I don't want it to be so bright because I do have some bright reds in here I have this give them la la beauty this is like a orange red and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not but you know what Turns out, this lipstick looks really bomb on me. Like, it is awesome. I really need to wear it more. I have this really expensive, I think this is um, Georgi, Georgi Armani. I could be wrong. I think that's the symbol. I got this um, in my Allure bag or my Glossy. I can't remember. One of them sent this to me, and I absolutely love it. It is so creamy. It goes on. But it does not stay. Um, it transfers really easily. Um, I had to reapply this like multiple times. And I'm, even though this is like a little like sample mini or whatever, I'm sure it's still like 50 fucking dollars because it's Giorgio Mano and it's like, I think that's how you say that. And you know, like it's not that good. But it was like the actual, like the feel of it, I loved it. Like one of the my favorite lipsticks, the feel wise that makes sense at all I don't know at this moment I've recorded so many videos I'm just like ah but I'm really trying to finish these like y'all might be getting tired of seeing me in the same outfit and I don't care but you know um because like I have so many more videos to do I have this Brenda Dylan Kelly lip cream and um I use that and I got this from that company that I can't remember, and I did not go back and check. I should have. I did not because it just don't really matter. They ripped me off. Whatever. I hope they enjoyed that $45. You know, I guess I always say, if it, I always say, like, if you steal it, I hope that the thief needed it more than I did. You know what I mean? I have the Sigma one, and I think I gave another one of these. I ended up getting two of them somehow. I don't remember. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I won one or if um, I got sent one from Influencer and got one in like my Allure or Glossy box. I have no idea, but I wore this lipstick a few times. It's not bad. I have this MAC lipstick and I don't think I've wore this one yet. We're about to see. Um, I think I just actually came across this when I was looking for lipsticks and I was like, ooh, Mac, I love Mac, and I do. I do love Mac. Nope, I have not tried this yet. I have not tried it yet, and I'm going to go ahead and swatch it anyways because I'm keeping this. Like, I know I could get rid of it and be down another shade, but no, I love Mac. So, I hope this is as good as one of the brown lipsticks, which you'll see soon in my next video. Um, I have this Mirabella Lips, and it is in the shade, oh, wait a minute, the MAC Lipstick is in the shade Sweet Saqqara. It is beautiful. Okay, um, 
I have this Mirabella Lips in the shade Bice, and I couldn't remember if I used this one or not, and that is what that looks like, and ooh, that one looks like it, um, that one looks like it molded, look at that, that's gross, and it also looks like I didn't use it, I'm not, I'm not swatching this, um, I'm just going to throw this away, I have garbage right over here trash so now I've got 180 lipsticks so I have this Jeffree Star lipstick and the shade I don't know I can't I can't read it I really have no clue <laughs> I think that there should be a law that makes them be able to print stuff on you know packages where you can actually read it because they'll put like really like fine white um and you can't read it and it'll be like like on a really light pink sticker with fine white and you're like what is it yeah i can't see it maybe i need to get a magnifying glass but i have this other jeffrey star and it is in the shade so this one's a little bit better this one's a brighter white but this one is unicorn blood and a lot of people were like, like, I don't know, they were bragging this up. I think it's okay, but I don't think it's as good as what everybody was bragging it up to be. And this is more like a brick red too. And I do like brick reds. So this is my drawer and I actually have a little short on this, maybe a little bit more than a short. I don't know. It was one of, like my very, very first video that I posted because I was trying to win a contest. Um, I did get this in one of my very first boxy charms. I did not unbox this, um, I got, like, I got BoxyCharm, I started getting it in April or May, and, um, I think I started getting it in April of 2020, was it? Yeah, I think I started getting it in April of 2020, and then I didn't start my channel until June, but there was, like, a contest through BoxyCharm, and, um, I wanted to try to win, and you had to do a makeup video. And I didn't know what I was doing. But anyways, this is Me to Fane. <laughs> this is by Josephine. And it is in the shade Glamorously Healthy. I don't know. Some of the names that the people name these are so, like, what the fuck. Oh. Sometimes I just get ahead of myself. I'm like, I want to do it this way, and then I start doing it, and then I don't do it that way because I think I have this e.l.f. Day to Night Lipstick Duo in the shade, mm, does it tell me? I don't know. At the moment, well, that's what that looks like. I don't even know if I've, I don't even know if I've used this or not. I really don't. And I'm going to tell you right now, if I didn't, I'm going to maybe keep it. Oh, that's so pretty. That's pink and that's brown. <laughs> it is so pretty, but you know what? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I love Elf. All right. Even though it's not red, this one's pink. So that is the first color. And then the other color is brown. probably shouldn't keep them. I see. I'm a hoarder. I could have got rid of another product and been down to 179 lipsticks, but no. I'm like, I'm gonna keep it. So, do our juvious places now. I actually just wore this in one of my videos. I have a, another one. Uh, super pretty, but the another one is going into a giveaway or friend mail or something but this is a very very beautiful red it's like a um pinky red and i absolutely love it i just wish like it dries down but it don't dry down all the way and it pisses me off i don't know why that pisses me off but i like my lipsticks to dry down to where like even this one is a little bit like because my husband don't like it to transfer onto him when i kiss him and i kiss him a lot a lot a lot so I have this Juvia's Place the red cherry perfect red and this one is also a very good red lipstick it is not as pretty as this one though oh here I am getting 
I dropped the damn lid. Okay, well, I dropped the lid. I'm not stopping for it, but it has a pink lip. <laughs> it looks almost like that. There's the lipstick. I'm going to go ahead and put that right underneath of it. I'll look at that lid in a minute. I have the LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse. And I think this is going to be like a brick red too. I think it could be wrong. Um, I can't really tell. Yeah, that might be like a orangey brick red. I have a, another e.l.f. stick here. If this one is new, I'll, I'll give this one to um, giveaway. Yes, this one is new and it does look more like a brown. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into a future giveaway. So now I'm down to 179 lipsticks. See, I didn't actually, like, when I was going through them, I didn't actually, like, check to see if they were brand new or not. And I was going so quick, I, sometimes I'd open it, look, guess, throw it where I thought it went. So, that's why we're getting so many new ones. I, I'm glad, though, because I have too much damn fucking makeup. Like, too much. So, I have this Duche. It is in 405 Winter Berry. I think I've used this, like, once, maybe twice. That is what that looks like. And this, too is a um is a brick red so i like really really bright reds like this red up here and i also like brick reds and i also like orange reds like those are my three favorite reds i have this um huda beauty i hate this lipstick but i don't know why i keep it um it is in the shade boy collector that looks like this is a very very pretty lipstick but I cannot wear this lipstick without wearing it all over my teeth. And it don't matter what I do. If I open my damn mouth, it bleeds onto my teeth. And it looks like my damn mouth is bleeding. And who wants that? Not me. So I don't use it very often. I have this Beauty Vault. Because I do make the mistake of sometimes giving it a shot again. Trying it out again. Thinking maybe this time I like it. And I don't. And this is in the shade Nutty, or Natty Nut. And this is going to be more of a brick red also. I wonder how many of these are going to stain when um, I was doing my, uh, when I was doing, when I was washing off all of the lipsticks, like the majority of the Jeffree Star lipsticks do not like to come off. I have this Hank and Henry. I won this in a giveaway. I was not impressed. I've used it a few times, but it is cool. You push the button. There's a button right there and it comes out. Oh, that is what that looks like. It has sparkles on it, but this lipstick sucks. I know some people love um, Hank and Henry, and you're weird. Um, and, you know, I guess you're allowed to like what you want, but I hate it. It makes my lips look horrible. It doesn't last at all. It bleeds onto everything. It also gets onto my lips, and it just is uh, nasty. I have this Love Tint by Benefit, and... This is actually a really pretty red too. And this um, does dry down and it like stains your lips. So uh, you want to make sure you want to wear red all day long. Like all day long. I have this lipstick. It is um, Hydro Shine by Rude Cosmetics, I think. Anyways, that's what that looks like. And I got this, I think, I think in my lure or my Ipsy. I'm the Lion, not my Ipsy, either my Allure or my Glossy Box at like Valentine's Day. I had them. Oh, there's that. And I think I tried it once and I just wasn't too impressed with it. I mean, it's a very, very pretty color. But I like my lipstick to stay put where I place it. I have another Fire Furry in the shade here to stay. And I think this one is my Brick Red one. I hope so because, yep. Yeah. Because the other one was a brown, remember? It was more of a brown. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. This is one of my favorite red lipsticks, too. And it stays put. It stays put, but it's beautiful. Alrighty, I've already taken up too much of your time. I'm sure this video is a little longer than the rest of them. And I'm going to wash these off, keep recording, because I still have foundation to record, concealer to record, and over a hundred palettes to record 
And if I do my palettes I haven't used, I've got like 30-ish of brand new palettes that I still haven't even used. Alrighty, I do hope that you enjoyed watching me show you my pink and red lipsticks. I do hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember that I do love you. Remain awesome and peace out. Awesome crew. Thank you.